Hey, good morning guys, welcome back. Today we're working in the garden. We're working all over the place, but today we gotta get some garden beds made for Shelby so that she can get her, her starts uh, into, uh, into the garden. The garden that yet to be built, but that's what we're working on. I got this trap behind me. This thing was empty yesterday, so we've caught all of these today. These guys are out in force. Got the a-hole birds out here. You can see him looking. Fuck, like he just noticed me. The bird's a jerk. So the last time we were out here, showed you guys the nest. The nest with all the eggs in it. And some of you had suggested, or told me that uh, guinea hens will lay a bunch of eggs before they actually come and then sit on their nest, their clutch. So that was pretty cool. Uh, we had a hen start to sit on some eggs and we thought, well, let's go grab some of the guinea hen's eggs. We'll go put them in the chicken coop where there's a hen laying on eggs. We came out to get them and something ate all of those eggs. All nine of those eggs were gone. There was a couple shells in there, but that night something had eaten them. I thought that was pretty crazy. Could be a number of things. Could be the pigs. Huh, pigs haven't been out in a while. Could be the dogs. Our dogs do. They will eat a chicken egg. They're not scared. Could have been a wild animal. There was a porcupine out here. I don't know if porcupines eat eggs. There was a porcupine out here the other day. Uh, Charlie got a little quill in her nose. We never saw it though. It happened at night. But anyway, to today's task. We're putting up a flower bed together or a planter bed. We're just going to build one for right now. Uh, we've got a bunch of two by sixes that we are using on the shop build going on, which I am currently getting work done. That is what I've been doing the last couple of days. Um, but we're pulling off of that to come work on this. And I want to make sure that I use some of these two by sixes for this before I use them all up on the, uh, the shop build. If you are new to this channel, you can check out the shop series in the playlist. We are building an off-grid blacksmithing shop. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff inside the shop. I'll do some woodworking in there. Uh, we're gonna hopefully be able to pull some vehicles in and work on them as well, get them out of the rain, which is a big pain in the butt out here, working on stuff out in the elements, especially in the winter time. So we'll have a nice shop where we can get stuff done. So today we're doing the planter box. We are gonna go ahead and get started on this. Deegan's gonna be helping us out. We are going to be building just one. We're gonna be building one. It's gonna be uh, we're gonna use them two by sixes. We're gonna go three two by sixes high and we're doing 16 foot by three foot Those are our dimensions. You want to copy it copy it go for it. Shelby wanted one a little bit deeper I was asking her if she wanted a, a 12 inch one or if she wants an 18 inch one and she wants an 18 inch one So we're gonna go a little bit deeper. Let's get started Move it out more. Keep going. Okay.
All right, guys, there it is. We got a flower bed made, or garden bed. We're not putting flowers in here, we're putting vegetables. So you guys can see I added some two by fours right in here in the corners. These are just little 18 inches. I held them up higher in case we decide to run water lines and want to attach it. I don't know, they can always be cut off, can't build them longer, so I figured I'd run those a little bit higher in case we use them. But you can see I've got two in the corners on both sides and then I've got these ones on the side because these are 16 footers they're gonna want to bow these boards are gonna want to bow out um, and when we get to filling dirt they're gonna want to bow out from the pressure as well so I stuck them here to hold them all straight and I've got stakes as well that we're gonna drive down right beside it and that's gonna keep this thing from bowing out All right guys, so our garden bed is made. Deegan's gonna start filling this up and what we're putting in here is a bunch of straw bedding that the animals used all throughout the winter. So this stuff's been um, breaking down since the spring. Been getting pooped on by goats, peed on by goats, probably chickens too, maybe even the pigs a little bit. So that's good, uh, that's good organic matter going in this thing. So Deegan's gonna get to filling this up with the first layer. I'm gonna take you guys for uh, a little bit of a walk. We are gonna go check out the bees really quick because we got some news coming for the bees. Good job, Deegan. Getting farm strong. Do you want me to spread this out? Uh, get probably like two more loads. Probably two more loads because that once you spread it out, it's gonna be really thin. Okay. And then whatever you don't have there, we're gonna have to fill with dirt to about the top of that second board or so. And then above that we'll do good soil. So while Deegan fills uh, that up, we're gonna head out to the apiary really quick and show you what the bees have got going on. I got two hives that are extremely busy out here. Got a bird hanging out out here. I got two hives that are extremely busy. Um, the one hive, which is the first hive we put in, which I've decided to name the Genesis Hive. So this is the beginning, so the beginning experience of our bees. Thought that was a befitting name. It sort of just kept replaying in my head when I would think about the first hive, the beginning, the beginning of our bees. Uh, and really the beginning of a lot more than just, you know, owning bees. You know, bees, bees are pretty cool. We need bees, bees are very important. Bees are responsible for pollinating one third of the crops. Uh, in the world and we kill them off with whatever we choose to kill them off with uh, kind of a big issue anyway so not only do we get honey out of these guys but we're helping the population and out where we're at nobody sprays out here we're in the middle of the forest um, there's no need to spray crop there's no need to spray pesticides um, so the bees out here should get a good healthy start so hopefully as we give them a boost in their numbers and they go out into the world as well you know hopefully we're doing our part with the bees anyway so the first hive this first queen genesis queen i don't have a name for the other two yet just got the first one but this hive guys is super busy as you can see i opened up the reducer to the second the second largest uh hole we're not taking it out just yet i think i'm gonna wait these guys are extremely busy. We've seen a couple of um, hornets fly in there and get attacked pretty quick. So they're doing a good job of defending, which is good. That's the point. This one's doing pretty good as well. It's not doing as good as the Genesis Hive, but it is doing well. It's very busy. Um, not too worried about these two. I am a little worried about this one. This Hive um, seems very, very less busy. It's always quieter. 
So you got some flowers. We did these, we did these flowers. You guys will see the video, but we put all these flowers out here. Went and got some flowers and stuff. Um, that red bucket is where I'm feeding or I'm watering. I'm watering my bees and I just come out all the time and add water to it. <clears throat> but anyway, we, we planted all of those flowers right there and the next day it hailed like crazy and it beat up the flowers pretty good. So hopefully they don't all die. We went and, went and spent like 40 bucks on flowers, which is a lot for flowers, but we wanted to give the bees some immediate pollen. We didn't think there was much pollen in the area being that we're in the forest. But they are actually coming back with pollen from somewhere and they're coming back covered in it. So they're doing a great job there finding their pollen. So that's it for the bees. You guys will be seeing a video on them coming up. Tomorrow is the first day that we get to dip into the bees, pull their hives apart and see what they're doing. So we'll locate our queens, make sure they're doing good. And then we will go through and just see what progress we're making. And if we need to help them more, uh, less, whatever we got to do. All right guys, so here's, uh, here's what else we're working on the last couple of days. I've been reinforcing this like crazy. Uh, the shop build is going well. You can see I've got 45 braces all over inside this thing. We've been just basically reinforcing it because it sat out throughout the winter. Of course, you know, the boards get weathered um, and they'll start to sag. So wherever I saw some sagging going on, we started to build it up. So you can see the bracing going on in here. 45's every which way, which gives it a cool look too. Shelby was impressed by it. So that's what's going on in here. You guys will see an update video on this uh, coming up. I didn't, I didn't do a video on the 45ing. Um, it's just kind of mundane stuff. I'll show it again in a little recap video. But basically what we've got left is to 45 this. We're no longer going to sheet the loft up here. You guys can see the loft area. We're not going to sheet it anymore. We're actually going to run boards up there. Um, I think for the long term, um, that's going to be the best. Also, I don't think I'll be able to get sheets up and a roof up without catching a rainy day, which will ruin the sheets anyway. But because I did these joists two foot on center, we don't want to sheet it. So we're gonna be using boards up there. So good thing we're 45 bracing because we're adding a bunch more weight to that top. And we got some other videos coming up. Hint, hint. The uh, farm got some better equipment. Much needed too. You guys stay tuned for that stuff. Appreciate you watching. Hopefully the garden does well. I still got to get them up. I still got to get the fencing up on the garden. Uh, we got to get rid of these goats still. We were able to offload a goat to a uh, local couple here that has uh, an off-grid homestead as well that they're building. They're redoing a cabin on their property just north of us. They are also on YouTube. So that was pretty cool. We did get rid of one goat. Uh, we've got five more goats to get rid of and then we won't have to worry about our flowers and our gardens and all that stuff getting eaten by goats. So if you guys are local, you're interested in a goat, we've got a registered boar for sale, or we've got a registered buck for sale. He makes pretty girls. Uh, we got him for sale and then we've got some more newbie and does. Yeah. All right guys, well, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.